I love a powerful design system controlled by CSS variables. The only trouble is you often have to look up those files to actually figure out what variables you have available to you. Tailwind devs don't come at me. What you have now in this extension I'm about to show you today is access to all of that in IntelliSense. So instead of guessing what your sizes are or having to go open up the file, you actually get this all directly in your IntelliSense. I'll show you also how to set this up so that if you're working with other devs on the project, they will also get access to this and prompted to download this extension. You ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. All right, so I've got a very basic Vite project set up. You can see here that I've got a main TS that just pulls in an app component that essentially just is a counter, all right? So it's pulling in this component. Now, I've set it up this way because this mimics how you might set up a typical project. Obviously, depending on your whole setup for CSS, it may look a little bit different. Vite includes imports by default using PostCSS. So what I've done is inside of here, I have a little design system. You can see that I've got a reset that is pulled in in my global CSS right here. And then I've also pulled in a bunch of design tokens using that CSS import. So what I'm doing is pulling in breakpoints and colors and typography, spacing width, all this kind of stuff. And then I'm using it down this way. Now, it's really nice once you actually get a variable in a file like this because you can start using it in other places. So let's say I said I wanted margin. I could do var. And as soon as I start to type, you'll notice it references other things in this file. The only trouble is my design system is a lot more than just these variables. In fact, if I were to pull it up over this way, you can see I've got colors and spacing and typography and all of these options available to me. The only problem is IntelliSense doesn't know anything about it. And that's where this extension comes in. So let's come over this way. I'm going to open this up. It's called CSS var complete right here. And I've got it installed. And once you have it installed, you can point it to any file or any folder and say, here's where all my variables are. Then you get CSS IntelliSense for everything. Now you can either do this globally or you can do it per project. Typically, I at least recommend per project. That way, even if you switch or you're collaborating with somebody else, they'll have access to this as well. So what I'm going to do is come over here and create a new folder. We'll call this .vs code. Inside here, you can have different files that are for VS code in particular. What I want to do is do two things. First of all, I want to have a settings.json file. This can hold various settings that I want for this project only. The second one you can actually get a little bit help with because if I come over here, I can come over here and say I want to add this as a workspace recommendation. Now, as soon as I do that, it'll actually create this for me right here. You'll see it says, hey, I recommend this. And that way, when somebody opens this project, it'll prompt them to install this. Now, next, when it comes to the settings itself, I want to actually make sure I point this to my variables directory. Now, in this particular one, I've got SRC, I've got styles, and then all my variables live in a variables directory. So inside of an object here, I'm just going to type CSS var, and you'll see that I can do dot, and I get a bunch of options here. The one I'm interested in is files. Now, here's where I want it to point to and say, here are where all my CSS variables live. I'll say SRC, styles, variables, and then I'll just do a forward slash star dot CSS. That's how all my files happen to be named. You may have something different here. Hey there, editing Chris here. I meant to mention two other things. Number one, you can add these same settings to your global settings file in VS Code if you always do projects like this. But secondly, you might also need to add a CSS var dot extensions. This allows you to process these variables in other files. So for instance, when I'm writing in Astro, I want to make sure I have access to those variables in my IntelliSense in dot Astro files as well. And you'll need to make sure you add that here as well. All right, back to the video. So now that I save this, I can come back over this way. Now I recommend you do Command Shift P and go ahead and reload the window because it will need to go ahead and pull all of that in for you. Now that you've got that, you can come in here and say margin, var, and then now I've got access to everything. So if I say space, notice not only do I get access to the variable names, but also to their values. So I could say space of 24 and how it adds that there for me. Now where this becomes really powerful is where you're in some kind of nested component. So I've got this little nested component. It just increments the count. Obviously very, very simple here. And I happen to be using a CSS module, but you'll notice I've got three declarations, counter, button, and we'll call this something like note. Now, if I come back over this way, now inside of here, instead of having to go and find it later up in my variables folder, so I don't have to say like, what spacing values did I have again? I can just again, come over here. We could say something like gap, var, and I know they start with space. And just like that, I've got access to all of these right here. It means I can also grab my button and do the same exact thing. In fact, in VS Code, if you just start with a double dash, it'll add the var for you itself. So I could say space like four, and there it is. For my background color, let's do something like this danger. And for color, let's do like this light cream color. For me, this is a game changer since I like to build out design systems like this, where the CSS variables control everything in the system. What I don't like doing is looking them all up every time I want to use something. 
And now I don't have to thanks to CSS var complete. Hey, I hope you really enjoyed that video. This is one of those extensions I just won't write CSS without because it's that powerful when you're actually using your design system. Well, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.